ladies and gentlemen, with, without further ado, um, what can I say? Instruments of music. How you guys doing, man? <laughs> great, great. How you doing, good, man? Man, man Gary, Gary, Fat Man McKinney, and Garvin McKinney, man. It, it's so good to see you guys, man. Um, good to see you. Good to see that you. was a that was an awesome video, man. Uh, tell it before we we're not going to talk the album now, but le tell tell us about that video. What was the concept behind it, and what what were you guys looking to accomplish with doing it? Yeah, that? well, you know, uh, Garvin. Um, had came up to, you know, he came to my house and he gave me this, uh, these guitar licks he had, you know, was playing in the video. And I'm like, okay, sounds, sounds pretty good. Sounds pretty good. Let's see what we can do with it. And I put my little, <laughs> my little chime to it. Added my, my little thing with it. And uh, we got with Levi, uh, got with Levi Bennett. He put his, you know, Levi going to put his twist to it. And, um, okay. And the whole theory was to say that, you know, music can bring, music can bring anyone together. Yeah. You know, whether it's in the church house, uh, wherever it may be, if it's in the, you know, bar, music can bring people together. And, and that was the whole purpose. You know, we can take the music here and get the same, get the same results, you know? Wow. Wow. Did you want to chime in, get, uh, Garvin, on that? Um, yeah, man. Um... I said, Fat Man, uh, he thought about the whole video concept of, you know, taking it outside of the church. And um, mm -hmm. I thought it was a really good idea yeah. you know, for people to see us in a different light and, uh, you know, try to connect with others outside of church. Like, hey, we don't just play in church. We can play, you know, anywhere and spread God's, mm -hmm. you know, God's gift. Yeah. That's, that's awesome, man. I, you know, I think that was the thing that connected with me um, at the beginning of the video. You know, yeah. it was like life outside of the four walls. You know, that, that, that was... You know, church outside of the four walls that that really resonated uh, with yeah. me, man. Man, you guys yeah. are man, you guys are two talented brothers, man. Y'all y'all <laughs> come from a from a talented family, and um, man. for man. for you all, I know. Come on, come on, let, let's let's see, what, let's just get started with that. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's it, it, you know the common ground with all of us is yeah. my cousins, my first cousins, which are also your first cousins, uh, Harvey and Ivan Shaw. Um, yes. They're, you, they're, they're your first cousins, of course, you know, on, on mom's side of the family. Um, right. Tell us who, who your mom is and, and, and what famous family they're from. <laughs> mm. Well, I guess I go in. Uh, I'm, my, my mom is uh, Alfredia McKinney. And if anybody from the House of God, you, you know that she was sung with the Beard Sisters. Oh yeah, you know, back in the, you know back in the old days in the house of God, and they had they they was a very successful singing group. Uh, they was very very good, and yeah. uh, also my uncle played with them as well, and uh, that was some news I had learned. He used to play with them, and they used to go to different places outside of the church and sing and, wow. and, and play too. So um, so yeah, my mom, and then she also plays the bass. She would always tell me she was the, one of the first bass players in the house of God. Um, so shout out to my mom. Yeah, Real she, talk. Real like, talk. <laughs> <laughs> she, used to, she used to play with Chuck. She told me she used to play with Chuck on the, uh, I believe it was ordination day, I believe. Okay. Was, yeah, she used, to, used to always put her and Chuck together. And so, uh, yeah, we, it's, you know, you talk about them beer sisters, you talk about, and then also my other aunties is uh, Jeanette, and Joan, they sung together too. Those two two dynamites, you know, right there. So it goes garbage after pray, take the other half. It goes deep, man. It really it does. does. It really does. Go ahead, Garvin. Hey man, you, you said enough, man. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's the meat of it, man. All of them, man. I'm just fortunate, man, to be a part of such a uh, gifted family, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My grandma, man, Bishop Beard, man, she he prayed for a lot of us, man. And my dad said all the time, like, if he didn't pray for us, he don't know if we all would have these gifts like this. So yeah. I really appreciate my grandma. Yeah, yeah Bishop. And, and for those of you all don't know, Bishop Fannie Mae Beard, oh, my goodness. Like, yeah. it's, just, it's just such a legacy, um, you know, yeah. in your family, your grandfather, your grandmother, you know, your, your uncle, um, your mm -hmm. uncle Ted, who's one of my favorites. You know, Ted, yeah. you know, Uncle Ted, Maurice Ted Beard, he, he yeah. is like, He's a true goat for me. <laughs> He's the guy. <laughs> and uh, man, he he um he taught me so much, even as a drummer. And I told him when I had him on here, um, mm -hmm. how much he imparted 
into my life, you know, cause he was, yeah. man, he was, he was strict on us, but he, but he helped me. He helped me, uh, yeah. you know, really with the sound, but man, you guys have such a legacy, you know, with your family. And then, you know, we, we, we we'll talk about them later, but your sisters, your siblings, you know, yeah. all, all of the other folks in your family, man, everybody can sing. Yeah, everybody, everybody can sing. sing. Everybody can play. Cousins can play, man. And um, like you said, you mentioned Ivan and Harvey, Pierre, mm -hmm. Douglas. Yes. Douglas. Um, yeah, they, you know, cousin Rosalind Singh. It's, it's, I don't want to leave it up. It's, it's too many to name, but. Listen, if you've he never heard of the Beard, the Beard family, the Beard sisters, listen, yeah. just, just look them up. It, it's, they're, they're, they are phenomenal when it comes yeah. down to their singing, uh, the, the ministry of music and preaching. Oh my goodness. That yeah, runs in yeah. the family too. <laughs> Definitely. So, Definitely. so man, you, you guys, you know, I, I'll never forget my brother, um, Ed, my youngest brother, Eddie, he would, um, Ed, Ed would talk you up, um, fat man about, <laughs> yeah, he, he, you know, yeah. he, he would send me things and, um, tapes of the assembly and stuff. And yeah, man, you, you got to hear fat man. I say, who's fat man? <laughs> So, so he sent me a tape <laughs> and I was like, wow, you know, and you sound just like, you know, to me, your, your style mimics your, your uncle, but of course yeah, you man. have your own thing that right. you're doing, but it, it was just like, you know, I, I prided myself after playing after Ted because he was such yes. an inspiration with me, but it, it's yeah, like, man, you, your sound is just so unique. It's so different. You and your brother. Mm -hmm. So, so just tell me like, wh when did it start? How did y'all start, um, Garvin? When did you start, um, Gary? It doesn't matter who goes first, but when did you start playing, and 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 how did it? How did you? How did your journey start? You know, with with with, with picking up the guitar, or picking up the steel. Go yeah, first. Well, go ahead, Garvin. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I started in uh, in Canada, man. Um, in two thousand five, um, mm -hmm. my mom and dad were pastors in Canada. And um, I started out there playing with Fat Man and my sister Tia just playing the snare drum. You know, I thought she was too bad. But um, <laughs> I sucked, man. I was, you know, <laughs> I was garbage, yeah. man. And my brother would be on me hard, man. Like, dude, like, you got to practice, man. Like, you, you know, you don't got it, man. Like, you got to learn more chords and everything. I'm like, okay. But, you know, I was a fast learner, man. It took me about, about, about three months, man. I really started to get with the hymns and signing keys and all that stuff. And, I knew I started getting good because my brother, you know, I used to record all his services, man. Mm -hmm. And it was one time I woke up early in the morning, man, and he was listening to that tape from, you know, last mm -hmm. Sunday. He was, you know, patting his feet and everything. I'm like, okay, okay, I'm getting better. You, know? <laughs> you saw some <laughs> you know, sign. He didn't tell me stuff, you know. He don't say, hey, man, you're doing good. You know, he just, nah, keep practicing. That's all he would tell me. So, wow. I had to, you know, see him do stuff like that to feel, you know, confident. But yeah, man, that's why I started, man. Then we left Canada and came to Detroit. And uh, we got, you know, got to my Elliot with Elder Morgan and stuff. And nobody knew I played, man. So yeah. I had to, you know, I told my mom one Friday night, like, can we get to church early so I can play? She's like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. So we came at like 7 o'clock, man. And, you know, I saw Carl Pettigrew, you know, turn around. He had his guitar on his back. He turned around when he saw me setting up and everything. I got there early, you know. And then uh, once they heard me, they was like, oh, man, like, they pushed me. They're like, man, you know, keep playing. Yeah, you take Wednesdays, Fridays, Sundays, whatever, man. Like, you, you got it, man. And um, it's been on ever since, man. My influences, man, Jay Caver, Harvey, Pierre, man, Phil Campbell, Kenny Ellis. I, you know, I took from everybody, man. Jared Mosley. There's wow. so many dudes, man. But, um, yeah, that's, that was my start. Man. Wow. Wow. That's, that's huge. Shout, shout out to Tia. You know, Tia, I think, I think Tia is probably you guys' biggest fan. Not, not to be biased, you know, she, she well, loves her brothers. Yeah, she do. She, do. she, she loves her brothers. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, somebody was commenting on Facebook. They said, Joy Rose Finest. And, and hey, yeah. looking at them, Joy Rose Finest. So, yeah, we so, have so, so, Fat Man, man, how, how did it start with you, man? They, you know, you're, you're, you're a steel player. You've been playing how long now? Um, 36 now. I've been playing. Well, I started when I was 11. Okay. And uh, those was the rough days of, you know, you know, just beginning because, and I, I heard a, a story where Robert was mentioning, I don't know if that was the one where he was, you interviewed him when he mentioned that his dad was giving all his steals away. Mm -hmm. And 
So that's what happened with me. My mom, when I told her that I had interest in playing the steel, I'm like, I need a steel. Mm -hmm. And so she, I don't know how she contacted uh, Everett Randolph and uh, she was able to purchase uh, uh, the MSA that Robert had uh, for 400 bucks. Was wait, really cheap. Is, wait, wait, slow down. This is history right here. So, <laughs> so, so this is this is okay. Everybody, Sacred Seal Nation, if you're watching this, make sure you like and share this post. <laughs> we are getting some first hand information. So, your first so was this your first guitar? Yeah, first wow. guitar. So, your first guitar came from Robert Randolph. Yes, you needed a guitar. Your mom reached out to his dad. Yeah, and boom, what so it, it, was, it, it was his MSA. It was his MSA. And, wow. You know, wow. Got his name on it, everything. <laughs> and, shout uh, out to Robert, man. Yeah, shout, shout out to out Robert, to Robert. For, for looking out. Yeah, that's that's and, good stuff. Actually, it was actually too good of an instrument for me. Just I didn't even know what I was doing, actually. So, <laughs> How was it tuned when you got it? Was it was it man, I don't even know. It was so so crazy tuning, right? <laughs> It was some crazy tuning, and uh, actually yeah. it was a nice tuning. I didn't keep it because I was young and didn't know what I was doing, but right. he had a nice tuning. But anyway, yeah, that's how that happened, and um, so I got lucky with that, mm -hmm. and I was playing along with that. But I want to mention that, you know, before I even started playing the guitar, how how I was just really a praiser. I came to, to church really to shout. Mm -hmm. I wasn't... Um, really into just, I love, always had a, a love for music now, because like you said, you go back to my uncle. Right. One only time I was able to hear my uncle play was during the state assembly. Okay. So a lot of times when my mom was, you know, we going to church, a lot of times we late, I'm like, come on, I'm ready to get to church. Like, you know, Ted playing, come on, what, who's taking it so long? Right. By the time we pull up in there, you know, I come through the door, they already jamming it, people dancing, falling out, and I'm like, oh. And you're man, missing out, missing. you missed out on the first day. I'd be messed up, man. So that's how his influence of him playing was on me. But then, like I told you, like, I came to church to really dance, you know, and I think it's important for musicians to learn that dancing aspect, you know, pray, or just praising God, period, first. Wow. Because I came to church and danced like 10, 15 times in one service. You you, you can ask anybody, go, go play the tapes. But anyway, They'll see you. Huh? They'll see you cutting the rug. I was cutting the rug. So, but then actually I thought I was going to be a drummer before mm -hmm. I started trying to play the drums at Irish Street. And if anybody know about Irish Street, um, you ain't playing no drums at Irish Street unless you good. Cause uh, I tried, I started it off playing drums and you know, you had uh, twin Carlton Pettigrew playing and several other slew of guys. And you know, they were always getting me up. So, God kind of pushed me towards the seal direction. And like you said, we, we started playing in that action. I'm going to speed it up. Um, so, you know, my beginning stages was terrible because I couldn't really place on what I was doing. Okay. And actually, my father-in-law didn't know it was going to be my father-in-law, but my father-in-law at the time, uh, Elder Jacob, the House of God Church, he gave me the basic, um, you know, the basic keys and to the notes going to the one, to the four, to the five. Right. And that really opened up my mind. Wow. So we fast forward from that, you know, uh, Dale Hines used to take me and Aaron, shout out to Dale Hines. He used yeah. to take me and Aaron to the Sacred Seal conventions. Right. What? Yes. He took us, and that's where the big boys and the big girls was that was playing at the time. And that let me know that I wasn't, I wasn't there yet. And so once I started hearing the different guys that were down there, the Josh Taylors, the Dante Harmons, and uh, stop. <laughs> uh, Robert Randolphs, and it was a little man, I can't even name everybody that was down there playing, but it made you either improve you or you wasn't gonna play. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I went back, started doing, you know, more practicing on my picking. And uh, and then I also want to mention Calvin. You know, he he really helped me because he, he would hear me every morning of the state assembly. Every morning. Okay. And you know, he said, You start off with your mornings. I think I did it for like three straight years. Wow. And then he finally gave me a night. Praise the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you 
Calvin oh. was, I think he started feeling me after a while. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, so those humble beginnings with Calvin Cook. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And Calvin used to give me a lot of instruction, man. Calvin used to give me a lot of instruction and feedback, which helped. So that was good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. So, yeah. so everyone that's on Facebook right now, I am talking to instruments of music, Fat Man, Gary Fat Man McKinney, and his brother, guitarist Garvin McKinney. Um, these talented brothers, man, these, these young guys, man, they are whoo, amazing, amazing, amazing. And we're just talking history, man. It, you know, it was so interesting when you were talking um, how you talked about praise um, yeah. and, and how, how important that is. You know, coming up, uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the musicians, you know, especially, especially those who, you know, really just play that macho role. Sometimes we get so caught up that we, you know, yeah. we too cool to praise, like, yes. you know, too cool to get off our instrument or, or yeah. we just didn't, you know, have that. Like growing up, man, that, that was something, and I'm, I'm so glad you said it because that was something that we, we had to have, man, um, Definitely. To, to, to be effective. You know, if, if you know, we, a lot of times, a, a lot of the, the musicians were playing just to get the people to praise. Okay, because they thought, okay, yeah, if I play harder, they'll praise harder, you know. But it yeah. wasn't it wasn't about that. And you kind of dispel that because you you were looking forward to just praising before you even got on the guitar. That's all. <laughs> that was my mindset every service. I'm that dead. was your mindset. That was my mindset. <laughs> and I, I think wow. I think this is a that's an encouragement because a lot of a lot yeah. of musicians think, oh, you know, well, if I just if I just play their socks off. You know, yeah, they'll pray, they'll pray. But the mindset was, I'm a praiser first. <laughs> I'm praising first. Yeah. Yep. That's that's some good stuff. That's some good yeah. stuff. So, yeah. so, 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 as you're going, as you're coming along, and 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 you get to meet a lot of those guys, who was a, um, probably the heaviest influence on you as a steel player? Man, definitely, um, definitely the ones I named Ted and Calvin. Ted and Calvin. And okay. It might be more so Ted because you know. I guess because I heard him earlier, you know, I didn't hear Calvin a little till later because he was in other diocese, but Ted, man, man, like, you, you know, his playing, his drive, mm -hmm. his aggression, his seriousness, mm -hmm. his approach to the service. Yeah. He was in for the, he was in for the kill. He was dialed in, you know, you, you look at, you, you know, I'm always just sitting in the front row and watch him. He's locked in. He's not paying attention to what's around him. He is, but you know what I'm saying? He's locked into what he's doing. Yeah. And to me, that taught me more, you know, it's more about the service than about who you are. Because a lot of times as musicians, we can get caught up and I say, oh, I want to do this. I want to play this in church. Right. But Ted, it was more of a service. What is the service bringing to you? You right. know, how are you playing to help the service? And I mean, his plan, man, I tell you, I used to go back home. I, I never told nobody this, so y'all going to go ahead and laugh. <laughs> I used to listen, because my mom got a, a bunch of tapes of Ted. A bunch okay. of tapes of Ted. That, and I used to listen to the tapes and start crying, man. <laughs> start crying. Because <laughs> that, that's how much, you know, influence it was, you know, his plan. Mm. And it, it messed me up. And then, like I said, once we went to the other diocese and I really heard Calvin Cook and his style and his approach. Wow. That was a whole nother, you know, two different styles. And right. so, yeah, that, and then I think my uh, my cousin Harvey gave me, he gave me a tape of the Camera Brothers. He said, you ain't heard the Camera Brothers yet. I'm like, who? <laughs> yeah, he like, take this, check this tape out. Mm -hmm. and I, I gave that to my brother. I'm like, listen, listen to this, man. And so that was a whole nother right there. So you yeah. know, I'm kind of young in it, but so, so we only know about certain guys. But yeah, yeah that was the influence right there, definitely. That, man, that's that's unbelievable, man. I I, I can I you know there this I get what you're saying with with the whole crying ordeal, man. When you, when you hear someone that that, that is really mesmerized you, yeah. Ted was the same. He was he was like that with me. I would listen to tapes of Calvin. Um, yeah. like that I tapes of Henry where they I've listened to them and literally just been like I, I don't I don't even understand it was just it, and it just sometimes overtakes you you overcome with emotion it's mind-blowing mind yeah and um you know it, it's it's 
for us, it's almost kind of like that Michael Jackson syndrome. You know, yeah. you you know, people see Mike and they just fall out. You know, yeah. when you see them at the concerts. Yeah. Yeah. You know, for yep. us as musicians, it was it was kind of that thing. You know, mm -hmm. we, we weren't we 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 were exposed to greats. You yes. and you guys in Detroit, Michigan, y'all had yeah. Calvin and Ted. Yeah, don't get no better. Listen, <laughs> in my short, it went, when you know I grew up in Chicago, so yeah. coming up, you know, in Chicago, we would go to Ohio, go to go to Detroit. Um, for the assemblies, and that, that's how I got my feet wet as a drummer with Calvin and Ted, you know, but always looking over their shoulders and playing and listening, it was like every chance I got, that was, that was, that was everything for me, you know, just to, just to be looking over their shoulders. So, 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 so Garvin, let me, let me transition Definitely. a little bit. Just how did y'all go, say it again, Fat Man? I said, yeah, just just watching them, just seeing them live in, in action, it just yeah. does something to you. It does. It yeah. really does. It really does, especially it really when does. it means something to you. You know, and people. It, it, sometimes yeah. it's hard for others to understand it, but to live it is a whole other thing. I know. I know. <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm gonna transition a little bit, Garvin. Man, you you guys started instruments of music, and you yeah. know, we we already talking about all the talent in your family talking about your, your mother and, and your siblings and, and just a, your, your whole family as, as a whole, um, all your aunts and uncles who, who, who are just so talented. How did you guys come up with, with the concept of, um, of you and your brother getting together, doing something? First of all, how did you all start playing together or when did that just happen automatically? Uh, well, like I said, when I started playing in um, Canada, that's really where we started, you know, building our chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been playing with my brother ever since I started. So back in 05 to now, you know, that's like wow. you know, 15 years of just chemistry playing with, you know, the same guy over and over and over. And that chemistry just started building and building. And you could, you know, you could hear it in church, you know, as soon as that man hits something, I'm, you know, jumping on it, you know, bam. Wow. You know, it's, like, it's like, you know, it's like clockwork. We just know each other. And um, yeah, so we just started playing in church and I don't know, we just, you know, it was like, man, let's let's try to take this, you know, outside of church, you know. You know, let's try to take this outside of church, you know, let's let's get some gigs and some engagements and just, you know, let's see what we can do. So that's what we yeah. started, man. And you know, it was rocky at first, but we didn't really know what we really wanted as a group. You know, it would just be me and Fat Man, you know, we'd just go into a church, you know, and just playing selections, you know, and <laughs> <laughs> we didn't really know our you know, our niche yet, you know, it took a while, you know. Then, you know, later on, we added on our sisters and our brother-in-law, Philip Pettigrew, man, and they helped us out tremendously, man. Candace, Batman's wife, Song Ford, man. And we started rolling, man. We were going to different churches in Detroit, man. And, you know, eventually we got to Greater Emmanuel, man. We played there in front of 400, 500 people, man. Like, wow. the door just started opening, man. Like, you know, it's just, like I said, you always got to test it and just see, you know, the guy gave you the gift, but I feel like we should, you know, take it outside the four walls, you know, we know, you know, we, that's our home, you know, we love church, you know, we can't play church forever, you know, yeah. that's our thing. Right. There ain't nothing wrong with going out and ministering. So that's there's right. So many more people that needs to hear, you know, the gift that God's left us with, man. Like I said, we've been going strong, man. We go out of town, man, playing. And I said, big shout out to our sisters, man, Philip, Philip Pettigrew, man, Candace, all of them, man. It's, yeah. They come with us everywhere we go, man. I don't care if it's, Texas, Florida, they had come with us. Like they, they down with us, man. So right. that's where it all started, man. That's that, <laughs> this, this, that's good, man. That that's good. And when you're connected with family like that, and I, I, yeah. I was listening to you all talk earlier. Um, yeah. how, well, I was listening to you, Garvin, when you were saying how when you were doing certain things with Fat Man, he wouldn't tell you. Yeah. Are you you yeah. have to depend on the nod. <laughs> <laughs> true, right. true, man. Yeah, yeah, one service he got me, man. I thought I was jamming, man. Like my first time ever playing outside of like our home church in Canada, we played in Pontiac, man, and I thought we was jamming, man. All of a sudden, you know, I see my brother looking at me, he's screaming at me, but you know, the drums and everything going, I can't hear him. I'm thinking, yeah, we, we jamming, man, we good. And then as soon as the drummer stopped, you know, he's like, man, you in the wrong key, man. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Dang, man. <laughs> the, the, those are the sometimes those are the best moments, man. Those. <laughs> He's been huge, man, you know, helping me out, man. My 
my mom, man, she got me going, man. My dad always, if you can get a compliment from my dad, yeah, good job. You didn't did something because he don't, wow. true. he don't hardly give you nothing, man. So wow, <laughs> but yeah, man, we love it, man. We love music. That's 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 good. Well, it looks like we've been joined by um one of the vocalists and your sister. I'm gonna I'm gonna bring her in and, and have her chime in on the conversation and tell us tell us who you are, what you do. Hello, everybody. I'm Tulena Pettigrew. Tulena. Um, yeah, my fat man didn't mention that. You know, back in the day, when Purity used to sing, me and my me and Tandrons here. Yeah. We we were going out singing back in the day, and once Fat Man started playing steel, you know, my mom's like, oh, Fat Man, I want you to come out, and I want you to start playing with the girls. And so uh, Fat Man started playing along with us. It got to the point where they would hear us with Fat Man, then it got to the point where they're like, okay, we just want to hear Fat Man. We want to hear this guy by himself. So, like, we would go to a gig. We would sing first. And then they would even have a spot for Fat Man. So um, wow. Fat Man got like a little bit of a, a, a push from us at the time. <laughs> so, so he was yeah, kind of opening kinda, up for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was kind of being our opening act right there. Right, right. So, <laughs> and we always told him, like, he always said, you know, I want to do a, I want to do a CD and I want to do a CD. But this is like earlier on before Garvin even started playing the guitar and we used to always be like all right if you do a sacred steel cd don't don't just do music because we was just like yeah. that's boring you, you know you gotta have some singing with it make sure you put some singing on there right right just listening to me straight through is just that's whack so when him and garvin finally got together after all these years uh they listened to us mm -hmm. and we you know garvin wrote and they asked us to come along and sing some stuff and you know uh we was a good great big part in helping the the brothers come along and form into this what they are right now so wow wow this is this is good and, this, and you, as you see this is turning into a family affair so we we've been joined not only um by by Telena but we have Tia Randolph hey Tia hey <laughs> and then we also have Fat Man's wife um you want to introduce yourself no it's Candace McKinney how you guys Candace, <laughs> it is so good to see you all. Listen, and 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 I'm I'm so glad, Telaney, that you brought up purity. Um, yeah. Again, y'all y'all want to hear some singing, folks? <laughs> Just look them up. <laughs> the Beer Sisters, Purity, mm -hmm. Instruments of Music. Yeah, it's in the blood. Yeah, Definitely. ice, <laughs> cold. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they, talented family, talented family. So, so Tia, that. I mean, they were they were really the, my sisters was really they was going places, man. They was going all around Detroit, and I, to be honest with you, I didn't take it serious like I should have at the time mm -hmm. uh, as a musician because I was so caught up on like you know I'm I'm playing behind them, and um, I didn't really take it serious. I'm just say that you know. Cause they were really going a lot of places, and I wish actually wish I was better as a musician. You know, I told them all the time I don't think I was as good as they were. You know, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So, but they were really man. I tell you, they they are just they called them up to do a song, and they would just sing the initial introduction and their harmony, and people will, the whole church would just stand up just off the harmony alone so i've seen it i wouldn't just you know my own eye just sitting in the in the church so it was crazy it was really it crazy it is and and i'm a witness i'm a witness to it i i've heard i've i've seen yeah. it i've seen it live and live and heard the tapes and, yeah, and yeah. um it, you guys are phenomenal so so i have to ask um i'll never forget it was it was some years ago um there was a there was a video that was put out um and um i shared it i think i shared it on my post and um, I'm not certain who it was, who it was, and who, who it was. And Tia probably doesn't remember this, but Tia, everybody was kind of commenting on the video, and you know, Tia was like, "Yeah, it was okay. You know, it was nice. That was good. You know." But she was like, "But I, you know, that's not my favorite. You know, my favorite is my brother, Batman." <laughs> oh Lord! Oh Lord! He was listen. She's been repping her brother since day one. Oh. Listen, Batman. I don't think there was a point 
that you couldn't play. Because uh, according, uh, to yeah, Tia, well. according to Tia, according to Tia, you've <laughs> always been the be- you you've always been the best. Hey, I don't know how I won. I don't know how I won Tia over that fact. I don't know what I did. <laughs> Hands yeah. down. Hands yeah. down. So, so so Tia, you gotta talk to us about about how this came to be. Y'all y'all pushing pushing little brother or 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 who who's the oldest here? Who's 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 big brother? Who's big sister? Who's who's who? I'm the oldest. You're the oldest. Yeah, Tandra is the oldest. I'm okay. I'm next to her. Okay. Everybody think Fat Man the oldest, but no, he had two ahead of him. So wow. as of right now on this call, I'm the oldest. Wow. <laughs> Fat Man's next. Then okay. Tia, then Garvin, baby. Tia. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So 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 tell us about that those experiences with 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 them early on, Tia. Coming up. Oh man, so <laughs> I guess with Fat Man, like he once he got his steel, because we knew he 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 had an interest to play, and once my mom bought the steel from Rob, he would practice every single day. Like the neighbors would be like, "What is that noise?" Like he'd be in the basement all the time practicing. Wow. Every single day he was mm-hmm. practicing, and like Garvin said, we used to go to Canada. My mom passed it over there. It was just us. I mean, our little family was a church. Like my, you know what I'm saying? Like I played the drums, whether I was good or not, I held the beat down. (laughs) Um, Garvin was on the guitar. We were a whole church. Lena was doing some a secretary job. Tantra was the deacon. We was a whole church. So, like I used to just be vibing with my brothers. Right. You know, that was good memories for me. And then just to see like where my brother, his gift, where where it came from and where it is now, both of them, but we're speaking on Fat Man right now. Right. It's amazing because it's like he, I don't know, he just took it and just mastered it. And like, I just, I just love that. And Garvin, we didn't know what he was going to do for for a minute. I mean, no. (laughs) <laughs> no, we like we singing Batman <laughs> plays Garvin like what are you gonna do and he just shocked us like wow even with writing it's like oh my gosh mm-hmm. like where did all this come from and it's right. it's literally all God like we don't wow. take credit for none of this amazing so, yeah amazing so those of you all that are watching on Facebook man like and share this post I am talking to instruments of pray instruments of music and I have uh, members of Purity here with us, <laughs> Candace. I have uh, Talena t- t- and Tia, and I'm just so um, honored that that you all are are on. Um, it just speaks to the legacy of of even you know the Beard Sisters and, and the brothers and, and and just and what you guys in the family the 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 talent that exists in in your families. Um, so I, I, let me let's. That was a great transition, um, Tia. Because I really want to talk about um, the the music, the um, you guys just came out um, not too long ago with a, with an album, Determination. Determination. Tell us about that. How did that come to be? Now, what people don't know is that you guys recorded before that. Y'all have a y'all had a um, y'all had an album before that, correct? Yep. What was the what do um, what was the name of that that one um, that particular album? Uh, you've been waiting. Yes. Yeah. And um, I don't I don't know if that's on digital. Is it digital? Is it is it a digital download? That particular one isn't. OK. Well, this particular. It's on Apple Music. It's on Apple Music. So yeah. so listen, if y'all look up instruments of instruments of music, you should see it on 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 um, Apple Music. But tell us how this project, this latest project, Determination, came to be. Yeah. Um... I just, you know, we, uh, me and Garvin talked about it. Like I said, we was, we, we, we made that at first demo, I think it was like about five years ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, we kind of waited, I think we waited a little too long to do the second one. Uh, uh, we was kind of, yeah, it took us too long. We, we actually should have been, but anyway, we, maybe it was for a good thing. You know, me and Garvin came together. Like we said, Garvin writes the songs and, um, I give I give the instrumentals, okay. and then once we come together, we like um, once we realize we both can't sing, <laughs> that that, that uh, adds okay okay my wife can sing this okay Lena can sing this 
Tia can sing that, you know what I'm saying? Because God didn't, I know where, I, I'm staying in my lane. I know I can't sing, I'm not going to try to be a singer. You see what I'm saying? Right. God gives us, he puts people around you, you know, for them to do that. So I'm, I'm going to use my help. And so, and we just talked about it and said, hey man, let's do another one. What, what are we waiting on? What's, wow. Let's get this going. And I, I, had a talk, I had a conversation with Jay one time he came to Joy Road and played with me. And, and I never forget, Jay told me like, what's going on, man? Why? I ain't heard nothing from y'all so, lately, man. What y'all doing? What, what's new? Would y'all got anything new? And it kind of just, I'm like, I really thought, yeah, you right. We ain't did nothing. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I need to do it while y'all young, while y'all yet, you know, y'all still sounding pretty good. He said, do it now. Don't wait. And so yeah. that day on, I told Garvin, hey, let's get this done. And you know, our boy, call our boy Levi. Shout out to Levi. Levi always makes it happen for us, man. Levi... You know, he, he's been in our corner, man. He, he's he's done a great job. So yeah, we I, don't leave I, I, I kind of want to talk about that a little bit because he's really been instrumental with the production and helping out with the production of, of um, your projects. And, and yeah. it's so, you know, it's so amazing to me is how we are able to share. Um, not only are you sharing the, your, your sisters because they're yeah. doing a lot of the vocals, um, right. if not all of the vocals, um, a, yeah. along with Candice on the, on the actual album. Um, but Levi, who was another sacred steel player, who's another phenomenal drummer and musician. Everything, he, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does, he does it all. He does, <laughs> and he was instrumental in the production of that. How did that relationship, you know, I, I know we all, you know, we, we all in the same church, but how did that come to be, to, to get him on? I mean, he heard Man. y'all and just wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was meant to be. I don't know. I, I don't know me and my wife talked about it because we was trying to, like I said, at the beginning, we didn't know how, all I know I wanted to do a CD, me and Garvin, we wanted to do a CD. We didn't yeah. know who to talk, contact. I, it, it was, I think it was nothing but God that placed Levi on our, on our mind. And you know, Levi, you know, I called him and said, Hey, can you do this for me? Can you, can we, he like, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. I got the stuff here. Come, come this day. Let's make it happen. And, and like, like Phil, you know, mentioned like, you know, when you come to doing albums, you know, you can't be scared of, you know, the, the reaction you might get. You might not be good the first time, but, you know, you keep doing it. You just keep doing it. If, if, you, if you like what you do and, you comf- and you're confident in what you do, just put it out there. It's for somebody. It's for somebody to be blessed, you know. Well, but you guys know Levi for mm-hmm. a minute. It's not like you just met him or nothing. Oh, yeah. Me and Levi go way back. I mean, yeah. we go way back. Me, <laughs> Levi, Aaron, Aaron, yeah. Derek, Carlton right. Campbell. We was always, you know, when Carlton was playing, you know, he he was actually playing. We was the ones sitting back, uh, like wanting to play and wanting to, like, man, <laughs> we want what you got, man. <laughs> you want something we got, and wow. we actually all of us was aggressive as far as knocking on the door. We wanted, we wanted to play, right. Yeah. Wanted to play it, then you know my brother, he was younger, watching us. You know our aggression. He came and like I said, Garvin came out of nowhere. I didn't even know. Yeah. I didn't even think Garvin was gonna play anything, and right. he kind of he kind of just came out of nowhere. But uh, yeah, me and Levi, you know, our relationship goes way back from like um, from being teenagers, just 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 being in the game like that. You know. Right. Right. This is this is so cool. I, I am talking to again everybody that is watching on Facebook. Uh, some of the most phenomenal musicians and singers that that you've probably never met, or if you have met, you know it exactly what I'm talking about. They are phenomenal instruments of music, along with the sisters, uh, Purity and Tia Randolph, um, Telena and Candice. I'm so I'm so excited to have you all here. So I mean, some of the tracks. Um, on on your your latest um, project, moving forward, um, sin got me in chains. Can't wait till the day. Give it to you. And Psalms thirty three and two. I mean, I, I, listen, I love all five of them. And for mm-hmm. those of you all have that have not heard the project, go to iTunes, go to any digital um, outlet, and and make sure you download it today. Um, if you want a little bit of praise and worship, if you want some church. If you just want some some country gospel, they got it all <laughs> on there for you, okay? Along with some good singing, not singing, but singing. 
Just saying. Yeah, definitely. So, so any particular tracks um you guys want to talk about? I I love all of them. Um, the worship song. Oh my goodness. I, I just I just love all the tracks on there. Um, Garvin, you want to talk about the writing? How you how you approach this man? This is some good stuff. Man, it's it's crazy, man. Um, back in two thousand twelve, um, <laughs> I was unemployed. I was unemployed, man, for probably like nine months, man. Just you know, doing nothing every day. Mm -hmm. You know, you at the home, you doing nothing, man. You like. <laughs> I'm about to just start doing anything. You know? Let me try to write a song or something. You know, let me try to write a song. Yeah. That's what I did, man. The first ever song I wrote was "You've Been Waiting" because I was waiting for a job. You know, so I'm like, let me let me just take this in. You know, maybe I can get a job. You know. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I wrote "You've Been Waiting," and I let Batman hear it and a lot of you know different friends and stuff. And they're like, yo, that's that's nice. That's nice. And then uh, that's when you know the first uh, demo came about, and I wrote okay. uh, wrote a uh, "Already Done So Good." I wrote that song too. Wow. That was on the first demo. And then, uh, yeah, this one, man, you know, a lot of these songs are old, too. That's the funny thing. Man. Mm -hmm. I used to drive trucks, you know, over the road, all over the United States, man. While, you know, driving trucks, I used to write a lot, man. Just, I had so much time, you know, I was just writing, man. I got I got songs now that nobody's heard. I got over, you know, 50 songs nobody's even heard before. But uh, that's all I do, man, is just write. And it's right. Like, I can't sing, so I'm glad I got Raina, Tia, Candace, Philip. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? We got so many singers, man. It's ridiculous. But um, yeah, man, moving forward, like I said, man, that was a song that I wrote, you know, just trying to get out of a situation, you know, moving forward. I was trying to, you know, get out of a dark place, you know? Wow. And uh, thank God me and Chains, I was in a dark place too, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and let's be real, you know, we all struggle with sin, you know? And, Absolutely. You know, you know, about, man. And I say, give it to you. When I first, you know, wrote Give It To You, I thought about Tia, you know, immediately. Like, oh my God, like her voice just complements me so well. And uh, when, yeah, when Levi, we went to Levi and his style of production, it all just came It meshed. Out. It's crazy. That's, yeah, that's, that's Psalm 33. When he let me hear that, I'm to like, Bubby. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bub, man. He killed it on the bass, man. He's going to do some more facts with Bubby, that's for sure. Yes. <laughs> That's Tia's husband, by the way. <laughs> Man, that, listen, there, there's so many um, um, writers, there's so many musicians out there. And, and Garvin, you probably gave them um, a way out. Um, you, you were, as you just stated, you were in a dark place there. You went through some things in life, but you chose not to stay there. You took your pen and went to paper and you began writing. That, that says a lot. Um, and, and, and for those of you all that are watching and, and, and let that be a motivation and inspiration to you, don't stay where you are, use your, use your, your, your mess and make something, you know, out of it. He took his pen and, and just took what he was soaking in and just began to write. And here, here they have a project today, man. It, it, there's so many, um, um, the, the, just the, the whole production, the writing, the, the sound, your, y'all, you all sound is so unique. And, um, you know, you can hear certain, when we hear certain skill players, we just know, we hear certain singers, you just know, oh yeah, that, I, yeah, that's so-and-so, that's this person. And that's kind of how you guys have, have put this music out, man. I'm, I'm really proud of you guys and, and um, for, for all the stuff that you're, you've done uh, thus far. Um, so, so with even everything that you guys have been working on, were you going to say something, Fat Man? Yeah, I just want to say, yeah, because uh, when we said, we mentioned, I think that determination has just been us in general, even with the first CD. We didn't yeah. know how we was going to get it done. Garvin had uh, vocals because I think, I don't know if Tia and Lena wasn't able to come. And so we just had my wife come with us and she was able to lay all those vocals down on that first demo, which was important. Cause we didn't know how we all we know we going to New York. <laughs> we just gonna make it happen somehow, and that's been I say that's really been the story of instruments of music. We right. determined to get wherever God have us to be, and like I said, um, and God let me know a long time ago. He told me like, you're not gonna be able to get where you're trying to go. You're not gonna be able to get there by yourself. Wow. And, and I see it, you know, it, it dawned on me like, wow, yeah. Cause I was like, I used to tell Garvin, I can't, I can't write. I don't know how to write. Garvin know how to write, you know? 
I can't sing. Your wife can sing. You have sisters that can sing. And I, right. hey, like I said, I'm not scared to use my help. I'm not, I don't try to be the ball hog. It's all about me, you know? Right. I'm not, you know, so it, it's better to me when it's a team thing. Mm -hmm. You you get more accomplished. You see what I'm saying? You you, right. you affect more lives. So I just wanted to point that out because how we, even how we even did this, even then my brother-in-law, like I said, they help out. Bubby, Philip, we man, I even help us. He comes to the events that we play at. I even help us out so much. Yeah. So you just don't know. We we might call it. You know, if you in the family, you might get a call. You never know. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> y'all hit me up whenever y'all come to Atlanta. When things yeah. open up, y'all y'all hit know. me up. <laughs> man, this is this is so exciting for those of you that are on Facebook. Like and share this post. I am talking to some phenomenal musicians and singers instruments of music um uh, and and tia and and uh Talena and candace thank you all so much for being on here today like this is this is so great um it, it's not easy and, and let me say that as family i know because i have a talented i come from a talented family it is not i mean sometimes it, they are the hardest on you you yeah. know sometimes they're the ones that say stuff you know, behind closed doors yeah. that we can laugh about in public, but in private, you no, just don't man. you just don't talk. It's a gag order. <laughs> man, shoot. You already know. So the real, you get the real when it comes to you. You get the real, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that's how so, it should be. That's how it should be. That's so, right. I like keeping it real. I'm the one I will keep it real with you. You're gonna she keep it 100. They'll compliment you all day long and tell you how good you did, but um, a lot of times they can be lying just to blow your head up to think you did good, but mm -hmm. your family gonna be there to let you know, like, mm -mm, nah, you wasn't that good. So right. <laughs> that's important. It's important to have that, you wow. know. Well, I'm, I'm just this. This is good, and and it's and family is important because it, it's the foundation, you know, of everything that we do. You know, I don't care <laughs> where you come from. It when when it all settles, when all the dust settles, it all comes back down to family, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, normally when I end, I talk about, and, I, and I'm going to do that with you guys. I wanna, want you all to give advice um, to, to singers, uh, to other musicians that are coming along. Um, you guys are young and, 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 and you're young and you're, you're in your, we all are in our prime. We're, we're doing our thing and, and we're just excelling the way God has given it to us. So, um, Tia, I'll start with you. I, I, I mean, if you all have never heard her sing, if you all have never heard, um, uh, Talena sing and Candace sing. Y'all really missing out on something. Like mm -hmm. they can, they can sing, y'all. <laughs> they can sing. <laughs> um, so if, if, if there there are gonna be a lot of singers that are gonna watch this and and, and young young people, young singers, um, some folks that are even even our age and 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 beyond. What advice um, do you want to leave with them to help them in their journey? Um, so I would definitely say to don't be afraid to come out of your comfort zone. Um, I remember being little and wanting to sing and my mom pushing me um, and just just taking my gift and just perfecting it and practicing. Find somebody that you love and listen to them and try to be yourself. Don't try to be like nobody else. Um, but also, don't don't get caught up in what people say, because I know me and my 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 sisters, who <laughs> we talk about it all the time. How they've always compared us to other groups in the church or whatever, and you know sometimes people can you know can get to you sometimes. But always remember that your focus is always God. Give God the glory as long as you're giving God the glory. Your gift will make room for you always yeah i live by that so yeah that's my advice <laughs> that's that's awesome that that is awesome I, I hope you all took that in um because yeah. that is so true it's so true only only your only what you have will make room your gift not someone else's but yours specifically to you tailored to you um the yeah. way you do it that's what's going to bring you before great men that that's yeah. awesome i love your shirt i love your shirt that's right listen <laughs> We talked about it at the beginning of the show, and T is already reiterating it. Go, go, go. Please. <laughs> um, Talena, 
give give us some <laughs> give us some real advice. Yeah, I would definitely definitely say um growing up I didn't want to sing. So my mom made us sing. As I got older, um, when you go through certain trials and tribulations in your life, you realize that God has blessed you with a gift. He blessed you with that gift to bless somebody else. And those who are singing, don't get caught in this box where you feel like, oh, well, I got to sound like this person in order to succeed, or I got to do this many runs. It don't really matter. Um, you use the gift that God gave for you to use and do it to his glory. Everybody may not like my voice, but I really don't care because I do it. I don't do it for people. I do it so that God can get the glory because God is the one that gave me the gift. So any singers out there, be serious. If you want to sing, if you want to do it for the Lord, uh, God will bless you. You know, keep God first, stay motivated, and he'll give you everything that you need, everything. You, and most of all, you got to have that anointing. You can run, you can sing, you can growl, you can do that all day long. But if you have no anointing with that, it's nothing. So definitely. Pray, meditate, get that anointing, um, and God will bless you. You'll go, you'll go far. You'll go long ways. Wow. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. <laughs> oh man, y'all, y'all y'all, y'all are really giving them some gems today. <laughs> this is this is awesome. And you know, and, and I'm I'm so glad you stated that about about how sometimes our our um our style of what we do, our style of singing is not um, compared to others, or it's, it's way different, you mm -hmm. know, and, and this may, may not be something that everybody is accustomed to or is, or is digging. Nah, you be you. Be right. you, be you. That's one of my, my favorite sayings. Right. Be you, everyone else is taken. That's right. Can't be nobody else but you. <laughs> Can't nobody else beat you by being you. That's so, right. Um, I, I, I guess I'll go to Candace, and then I'll go to, um, I'll go to Garvin, and I'll end with you, uh, Fat Man. So Candace, any advice? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I'm gonna piggyback off of what the girls have said. I've always, I always felt my voice was different. And I'm like, well, I don't sing like this one. And my voice, you know, they might not accept it. But I've learned over the years to love myself. You know, God's mm. giving you a gift. Love yourself. Love what God has given to you. And I mean, God, He'll open up doors for you. Just trust in the Lord. Wow. That's that's real right there. <laughs> Love yourself. <laughs> that's a word for somebody. Somebody need to tap that. Good. Type that in the chat. That Love yourself. Love yourself. <laughs> Love yourself. I'm not even gonna come behind that. Go ahead, Garvin. <laughs> yeah, it's sad. I gotta come behind that, but uh. <laughs> My. Yeah, man. What I tell any young musician, man. I'm still young myself, man. I'm only 30 years old. So, um, but um, my main thing would be, you know, wait for your time, you know, mm -hmm. practice and stay humble and wait for your time. Everybody has their time. You know, as long as you stay humble and practice, you're going to get your time. You know, I hear a lot of young people say, man, I can't, you know, I can't play or man, it's always somebody playing or I can't get on. You know, I used to think the same way, you know, when I was young and like I said, I had Harvey, Pierre, Jay. All these dudes in Detroit, you know, ahead of me, I'm thinking, like, I ain't going to never get to play for no state assemblies or nothing. But, um, like I said, when your time comes, man, I had to wait 10 years before I could get, you know, weekends and stuff. But when it's your time, it's your time. You know, don't worry about if you're not playing right now. You know, your time is going to come. So that would be my main word, man, is to practice, keep practicing, and stay humble. And a quick shout-out to Nikki D and the Browns, you know. That's an yeah. awesome group, man. I love them. I yeah. love their spirit and everything. Big yeah. shout out to ATO crew. ATO crew. My yeah. Yeah, crew. Right. When he make you clean, oh my. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So big shout out to them, man. Of course, Robert Randolph and them, them guys, man. Yeah. Crazy, man. Lee yeah. Boy, Campbell Brothers, man. What? Hey, Fonzville. Ryan Josh Taylor, Aaron Hines, there's so many dudes, man. I'm Tommy Miller, right. these young bucks, Malik Evans, Rodney Davis, you know, man. I can't I can't name all of them, man. You know, there's so many, man. Timothy Williams, but um, 
But yeah, that's my main thing, man. Stay humble and keep practicing. Wow. This this is good. This is so good. Man, thank you for that. That that was that was rich. That was rich. Oh, yeah. Um and, and just the homage that you even paid toward a lot of the guys that, you know, either came before you or just your peers. That that says a lot about you, your character and your integrity as a person. When you can give oh, shout outs yeah. to guys who are right alongside you, who've been doing it right. just as long as you've been doing it, and you still acknowledge yeah. them. That's Definitely. I'll take notes. This is a special family right here. <laughs> I'm going to end with you, Fat Man. What you got? Nah, well, <laughs> I'm glad he, he shouted out a lot of people, so that's good. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I did want to mention, uh, like, the spiritual advisors that, like, my mom, she, was, she used to always tell me to be humble yeah. and let your gift um, pray for the God to uh, uh, bless your gift. She used to tell me that. So my mom was really, you know, honest. And then I also want to tell a story. I forgot to mention it. Uh, when I was five years old and um, and at our street church, we had a gate and it had a cutting, it had a wheel on there where you push the gate and the wheel would spin anyway. But anyway, we was playing outside one day and I my hand got caught in that wheel oh. and I almost took my fingers off. Wow. Almost took my fingers off. So a lot of people don't know that story. And by that happening, it caused my grandmother to pray for my hands. Wow. And so I would say that what the devil had for my, my bad, God had for my good. Come on. Because my grandmother was able to anoint my hands. <laughs> so. Wow. Yeah. Remember that, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it's important to be anoint, anointed when we try to do this. You know, it's not about us. It's not about sounding good because I know I don't sound good most because I be playing so hard that you know some stuff might go off a key you know <laughs> I, I got a mission, you know all for the glory all for the glory you know but, you know we gotta you know so but I just want to mention that and just having those spiritual advisors in your life and listen to people if they are giving you uh constructive criticism and because we we always gonna you always gonna get that because you know music has so many levels to it Music got so many levels, you, you, you know, it's, it's a continued uh, growing process and, and it's nothing to get ashamed about. If you love what you do, just keep doing it, you know, no right. matter what. And that's some, something I didn't help to. Everybody might not, might, might not like my style. That's why I have so many different styles. Yeah. But I know some people that do care for my style. So, <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. And you just keep doing it. <laughs> You, you just keep doing it. Wow. 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 You you guys have really um um just just given some gems, some a uh, lot of good nuggets, wisdom. I, I just hope that everybody that's watching, you're able to um to you know just embrace what you what you just heard. Man, Garvin talked about waiting your turn um your time, you know, and and um and and just fat man just ending with, you know, just you know, pray and, and, and anoint yourself. And, and he talked about his grandmother who prayed over him and prayed over his hand over that, you know, because of that one incident that happened caused her to anoint his hand. You know, mm -hmm. that, that, that could have, that whole incident was pretty much a disguise for something that was intended to happen for you anyway. Yes. So that, that's a, man, that, that is such a blessing. Um, uh, shout out to um, even Dale Hines, um, as you, you guys mentioned before, taking you, we all need someone like a Dale to yeah. take us to a place <laughs> to expose us and yeah. give us something that we may not be privy to all the time to broaden yeah. our perspective. We need a mentor. Oh, we need somebody who sees beyond where we are, yeah. you know? So man, shout out, shout out to everyone that's, yeah. that's on the live feed. Thank y'all so much for doing this. Thank you yeah. all for um, um, coming Thank to this live. And, and, uh, I appreciate you all. Tia, uh, Talena, um, Candice, Garvin, Fat Man, y'all keep doing what you're doing. We will. Keep, you keep doing, doing what you're doing. doing too, man. So hey, doing man, that. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. We're we going to have a round two of this. I promise you. Yeah. It's going to be a round two of this. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> somebody's ready to go. <laughs> so, um, next week. <laughs>